everyone. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. If you're new here, my name is Sandy, and on this channel, we talk about pursuing a career in interior design, and I give you home decor tips. Today's video is on the home decor side of things because we are going over 10 different decor items to put over your bed for that finishing touch. Alright, let's just jump right into the video. One of the first things that you can put over your bed for that finishing look is a giant piece of art. Big, okay? Really, really big. Something that probably runs the span of your headboard or maybe even larger. You can also do three big pieces that run the whole length of the wall. I've seen this a couple times and what I love about giant pieces of art is that they just look really, really clean, sophisticated, minimal, impactful. The cons is, is generally why you don't see them all the time, usually just like in higher end homes, is because they are expensive. <laughs> it is pricier to do a large frame. Oh my God, framing itself is really expensive. Um, you could DIY one, very possible. Not everyone has a DIY skills, but bigger statement art, I personally love more than a collection of a smaller pieces of art. However, the next thing you can put over your wall is a gallery wall. So a gallery wall is both number two and three, and I'll explain why it has two different numbers. One, you could do a collection of, of, of pictures uh, above your wall and, well, above your headboard, above your bed. It doesn't necessarily have to just be pictures. Sometimes people will do little artifacts. Sometimes people will do small mirrors. Just fun collection of things. You can also do a gallery wall that is symmetrical. So all the frames are exactly the same size with the same size mat and all that. So it's not like a gallery wall that's like asymmetrical where all these you have all these little, you know, little puzzle pieces kind of looking thing. <laughs> it looked like I was roaring at the camera. Oh my god. All right. Anywho, moving on, you can also do a gallery wall that instead of being completely over the center of your bed, it is off to the side. I personally like the off to the side and it's asymmetrical. I think it looks really cute, especially if you don't have, um, if you don't have symmetrical nightstands. So say you have a room where you don't have enough space to have the same size nightstand on both space. Maybe there's a window in one area, maybe there's a door, like your closet door comes out in another area. So you have a nightstand with like drawers and stuff on one side, but maybe a small side table or maybe a small shelf or something like on the other side. So because you can't have symmetry in your nightstands, you can have symmetry in visual weight. So say you have one big piece, right? I have this big piece on this side. What I can do is carry uh, the gallery wall over on the other side. So even though I don't have the same exact item, this weighty item that's anchoring this side helps offset this collection of items that has the same anchoring feeling, even though they're not identical in the same item. You know what I'm saying? The fourth item is a mirror. I really like mirrors over the bed. I think that they look fun, especially for rooms that are small. It definitely helps open up the room, and if you don't get a lot of light, you definitely want a way to reflect light in the room. Um, you can also do mirrors. This isn't technically above the bed, but sometimes people don't want things above their bed at all, and they just want things next to their bed. So I do still like the look of two mirrors bordering the headboard, so it's above the nightstand. You probably see this look at like RH a lot does this. I see this Z Gallery does this a lot. I see this a lot of like glam spaces and transitional spaces. Um, those are two styles that definitely embrace the symmetry of that look. And it's, it's just fun. It just looks good, it's simple, it's clean. It's just one of those like staply things that looks good all the time. What I will say about using mirrors is all the time, I see this all the time, and it's a mistake. People use the wrong size mirror. <laughs> I think bigger is better. I love bigger size decor. I like big mirrors, big art, big lighting. And small mirrors can sometimes just look like puny. And smaller pieces can, some, can make a smaller room feel smaller as opposed to if you use a full size mirror or an oversized mirror can even do that. So if you're gonna use um, if there's space, I would measure the space between your wall, and your ceiling, and your headboard. And say there's like 40 inches, 
you could use up to a 30 inch mirror there and leave five inches in between. So that way it doesn't, it's not hitting the ceiling so it's not too cramped, uh, but a 20 inch mirror might feel too small. That's just one way to make sure you're using the right size mirror for your space. The fifth thing you can put over your bed is nothing. <laughs> you, there could be nothing there. Some people have really tall headboards, those really, really gargantuan headboards that either run up to the ceiling or people have like wall panels as their headboard. So the wall panel kind of acts as the art and you won't need anything above your bed at all whatsoever. You can have nothing up there. If you really are going for like a clean, minimal look, consider putting nothing there if that really matches your style. Number six, you can paint. You can paint some cool shape. I see the arches a lot, and normally I'm kind of over that, but I don't hate it. I, I, I felt like I was over it, but now I see it, and I, sometimes I see it in, in like a cool application, and I'm like, you know what, I don't hate that. A uh, lot of people are doing the arches behind their, their bed, and that's a fun way to make it look like there's a headboard there. If you just wanna do like a cool, funky pattern, and or you just wanna stencil the whole wall, and that way that whole wall serves as art and you don't wanna put anything over the bed because you don't wanna you know obstruct the stencil or the hand-drawn, whatever you've done, a mural. Paint is always one of just the best budget-friendly solutions and so many possibilities. So number seven is actually very close to number one. A large piece of art, like I said, number one, but this is not mounted to the wall and it's kind of half behind the headboard and half behind a nightstand. I've seen this before and I really hope I can find pictures to put on screen and show you guys because I think it looks cool. It's a little bit more of a high-end look. It's a little bit more of a, um, a photography look. So I honestly don't know how practical it is. If you are someone who has this, let me know. But it looks cool when I see it. So you would have like an, a, a giant piece of art and it would be kind of like leaning on the wall behind behind your headboard so you would also have to have a low headboard for this because if you have a high headboard you're going to be protecting the art you're not really, you're really not going to be able to see it that much so you wouldn't want this idea but if you either have no headboard or a really low headboard having it be kind of off center gives it like this editorial high fashion look i really like it the eighth option is you can do a shelf you can do a shelf with a bunch of hanging plants i have seen this and most of the time when I see it, I see people put it above their bed, like high. So if you're laying in bed and you reach to touch it, you wouldn't be able to touch it. The plants are usually closer to the ceiling than they are to the headboard. Um, but it creates like these, you, this hanging plant look because you'll, you'll use plants that trail, like a pathos or something like that. Um, and they just look nice as they grow down. And plants just, you know, they, they purify the air, they do all the lovely things. You, it's nice having something living around you and they're just luscious and vibrant. It's just, it's like decor. So consider having plants above your bed with some shelves. This is different than hanging plants from the ceiling. This would just be like shelf, again, with the plants on top of it. And of course, these are gonna be like smaller plants, so you don't want anything that grows too tall. You definitely want things that like grow down. Built-in shelves or cubbies. This is a great solution for someone who has a super small bedroom. So all my folks in New York <laughs> who pay an arm and a leg for a shoebox, um, this is a great solution for you guys. I see this and I like the look when everything's organized and it looks properly. I am always just scared that people like hit their their cubby or their cabinet, their bookcase or something and stuff falls out. I don't know if that happens. So if you're someone who has like a bed like this and you have this above your bed, let me know if things actually fall. But it does seem very, very practical as far as space goes. And if you don't have space for nightstands, the cubby itself would be by the wall and you just kind of like reach your hand over. You would just kind of like reach your hand over and there you put your glass down, you put your phone down and it seems like a cool solution. So I've seen where people have like their whole wall behind the bed is all shelving, all cubbies, all you know bookcase type stuff. And then I've seen where people have like, like a slot almost like a male slot of shelving in there and they'll have like the alarm clock and the radio and a little piece of art and I like that. That seems less like things would fall on you. That seems more practical. Uh, but if you need the space, try doing like literally a whole built-in bookcase behind your bed. 
and that might be, you know, that might be what you want. And you put your lamps in there and you can have lighting inside the bookcase that could serve as like your, your, um, your nightstand lamps and they can battery operate it if, so that you would have like easier control of them you don't have to like get up from your bed to turn them off or that kind of thing. But this is a cool look. I like it. I think it's studious um, and just a bit different. I don't see it a lot. Number 10. Uh, that you can put above your bed is fabric. You can do draped fabric. I have seen this mostly in magazines. I don't know that I see people do this like all the time. <laughs> I don't know that I've seen it in person, but I think it looks really pretty. The main way I normally see it done is the fabric could be hung from the ceiling or you can also just pretend there's curtains behind you. Pretend there's a window behind you and just hang the curtains either from uh, the ceiling and do like a ceiling track and do that. Maybe the wall behind you is ugly, maybe you can't paint, but fabric, just putting fabric up against the wall from a ceiling track is a great way to add some decor that can also easily be taken down when you leave. What I love about adding fabric is that it's just, it's texture, it's cozy, it's like, mmm. Um, more texture, the better, it's gonna feel in there and sound in there and it's just gonna be like dreamy. So this is definitely, definitely a cool option for, again, those of you guys who can't paint, it's renter friendly, and those who maybe like want the canopy bed vibe, especially the one that like hangs down and over the bed, but you maybe don't have like the budget for a canopy bed or just don't want to get a new bed, try this. And that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like these ideas. Tell me what you would like to put over your bed. I can't wait to make more videos like this for you guys because I, I also have my what to put above your sofa video. I actually ended up putting a mirror above my sofa. There's a mirror here. I'm in my living room. And if you've seen my living room makeover video, then you have seen that mirror. Um, I can make tons more videos about maybe what to put in your dining room or, you know, what to put in your entryway. So let me know if that's something that you guys are interested in. And I look forward to making more videos with you guys and I look forward to you watching more videos over here on this side. <laughs> like I say at the end of all of my videos, Beyonce said, if you like it, put a ring on it. I say, if you like it, subscribe, all right? If you like it, then you should have subscribed to it. Subscribe to it. <laughs> Oh, you can't take me anywhere. You cannot take me seriously, I swear. Uh, but anywho, I'm gonna need that ring. And by ring, I mean that subscription. Click the button so that you get notified of next week's video. And drop a ring emoji down in the comments. Let me know that you subscribed. Let me know that we're married, we're committed, we're together. Let me know <laughs> that you're not here playing the field with these other channels. How could you? How could you do that to me? <laughs> Bye.